In this class, we are going to learn how to invoke Oracle Cloud function also known as OCI function with an integration built with Oracle integration 3. Before going ahead with the hands on and show you how to build an integration to invoke a function, let's have a quick walkthrough on the documentation page by Oracle. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle that is to invoke Oracle Cloud infrastructure functions directly from an integration with OCI function action. With Oracle integration 3, Oracle has created a OCI function action that is the action with name OCI function with the help of which we can directly make a call to any function which is in Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So we don't have to create any specific connection in order to make use of the functions API. We have to just drag and drop the action like how we drag and drop any other action within the integration canvas and by populating few details in that action we can just make a call to function. Now at the high level we have created a dedicated course on Udemy as well as we have a course on YouTube on OCI functions. You can learn from scratch how you can begin creating a very simple OCI function with the help of your local computer or even with the help of OCI console terminal or the cloud shell. You can check out our course in order to know how to begin with the Oracle cloud infrastructure functions if you don't know. Now coming to the capabilities we use serverless functions. These functions are also known as the serverless functions as well. We can execute these functions in order to achieve the complex functionalities which we cannot do with the help of integration. Suppose if you want to create or generate a excel file like the .xlsx or .xls any worksheet or the workbook file currently at the time of recording this video we don't have any such functionality built in Oracle integration 3 with the help of which we can generate the excel file or we can read the excel file. So for those purposes we can make use of OCI functions so this is one of the use case but Oracle has showed few of the examples over here like generating or creating a digital signature we can create a custom zip like the gzip or the tar we can pass the pdf and then read the content of the pdf we can generate the pdf file we can merge multiple pdf file into the single pdf file there are n number of possibilities what you can achieve with the help of oci functions now there are few prerequisites which we have to follow in order to build an integration so we will talk about that shortly First of all, I will show you what function I have created. I have created this application that is with the name FN app. Let me just click on this. I have deployed over here a simple function which is built with Python with the name hello world. If I show you what is the request and response for this function. Here is the postman project I have created with the help of this endpoint. So if you see over here, I have made use of this invocation endpoint in order to create the project. In the request, I'm sending the name like here in this case, I'm sending BNUM learning and in the response, I'm getting a message back with the greeting like hello followed by the name, whatever I have passed. This is a simple use case, but in the real or in actual business scenario, you will have a complex logic to build. So this was at the high level. I have shown you what my function does like it was sending the greetings back by accepting the name. So this is the function which we are trying to invoke from the integration. I have created this sample integration with the name invoke OCI function in before showing you how we can build this integration let me just run this integration and show you. Coming to the body in the request I am sending the learning I will give over here as BNUM learning and click on run. In the response I am getting the message back with the name hello followed by the name what I have supplied in the request. In the OCI function our element over here was the message but here it is a greeting this we have transformed with the help of mapper. So this message whatever you are seeing is from the OCI functions I will walk you through the code now. I have opened this invoke OCI function integration in the edit mode. I have exposed this integration over REST protocol as I had shown you. This integration is accepting the name in the request and in the response it is showing the greeting. Only one action I have dropped that is the OCI function. Suppose if you just hover over anywhere in the pipeline and search for OCI. Currently there is only one action with the name of OCI. We have to just select this OCI function. Then we have to provide some name. In this case I am giving something like OCI fn invoke you can name as per the naming convention followed in your project next is the region we have to select the region suppose if you have subscribed to multiple regions in your oracle cloud tenancy then you can select the region specific to where you have created or deployed your functions code so this is the first thing we have to select 
Once you select the region, it will show all the compartments. We have to select the compartment in which we have created the function. I will just go here one step back to the functions application. In the compartment, we have to select the compartment wherever we have created this function app. I have created this application in the learning 236 compartment. The same thing we have to select. Next comes the application. We have to select the application. Currently, I have only one application over here. So, we are able to see only one in the drop down. Suppose if you have many, you will see the list over here. Next comes the function. I am getting into this functions application. Coming to the function, I have only one function over here. So, same thing you will see in the drop down. We have to select the hello world function. So, that's it. We have to click on continue. We have to change the reference name. I think it doesn't support the space over here. Yeah, click on continue. Next, it is asking for the sample for the request. If you see here, configure request, it is asking. Now, for the configure request, we have to provide the JSON sample or whatever sample it supports. Or you can just upload the file over here if you are holding this JSON sample in the file. I am copy pasting inline JSON over here. Click on continue. Next, it will ask configure response. If you see configure response, it is asking. So, in the response, we are just copy and pasting the response sample response from the postman. Click on continue. So, once done, it will show all the summary. Click on finish. At the end, it is showing the invoke endpoint URL over here. So, it will be same like whatever you see in the OCI console. So, same thing it is showing over here, the invocation point. So, similar thing in the previous versions of integration, we were making use of a specific or a dedicated connection that is based on REST protocol and we were making use of OCI signature 1. We will use such kind of connection when we are making a call to function which is created in a separate tenancy. So, suppose if you have created in the same tenancy, then it is asking you to select those things like the region, compartment, so and so forth things. But if you have created altogether a function in a different tenancy, then this OCI function action will not be useful. So, in that case, you have to go for a specific connection. In my case, I have created this integration instance as well as the function what I have deployed is in this same region that is in the US Ashman region and in the same tenancy. So, I am able to make use of this OCI function feature. Now that's how we have to configure this OCI function. I have already created this OCI function action over here with the same details whatever I have shown you. Like I have populated the region, I have selected the compartment application and the function name and I have provided the sample over here for request and the response as well. And in the mapper what we have to do is we have to map the things what we get in the request for this integration. If you see over here I have mapped the name what I get in the request to the OCI function. Coming to the response mapper over here, the message what we get in the OCI functions response here if I show you the element in the OCI function response is a message but in the case of integration it is a greeting we have to transform with the help of mapper like this. Now suppose you might get an error over here when you configure the OCI function action like when you select the region you won't find the compartment or you will get the error message at the top of this wizard saying that there are no applications available or the compartments available with the functions. If you get such error then you have to go to this oracle documentation. So what you have to do is you have to do a couple of things. One thing is you have to create a dynamic group. As Oracle says over here, so the step 1, step 2 you can follow that it says how to create a function and deploy that we are ignoring as of now. So if you want to know how to create a function deploy everything we have covered in a specific course in Udemy. Now first thing is we have to create a dynamic group. In order to create a dynamic group we can go to this OCI console, go to the identity domain or you can just click on this navigation menu and click on identity and security as well. You can just click on this dynamic group and create a dynamic group like how I have, I have created integration iPhone group. So I have created one rule over here as it is mentioned by Oracle in this document. So what the rule says is we have to create one rule saying resource ID is equal to client ID. Now you might get a question like how can I know what is the client ID. So client ID we will get I will show you shortly how to get that. First thing is we have to create a rule something like this. Let me just go back. We have to go to the Oracle Cloud Services from the default domain or the domain whatever you have selected. Now scroll down and search for your integration instance. My integration instance is over here or the service click on this. If you scroll down you will get the client ID for your integration instance. This is the same thing what you have to provide while creating a rule that is over here for the dynamic group. Resource ID is equal to client ID and the client ID is nothing but it is this one. 
for your Oracle Cloud Service, you have to select the appropriate integration instance. Suppose if you are having multiple integration instances like for test instance, production instance, or for UATS, IT, so on and so forth, you have to go to the specific integration instance and select the client ID for the same. Next, we have to create the policy. So in order to go to policies, you can go to this identity. Go to the policies. You click on this OIC3 policy. You can name as per your naming convention followed in your project. So you have to provide this policy that is allow dynamic group and the group name. The group name what you have created just now that is the dynamic group that is to use functions family in specific compartment. The same thing I have written over here. Sorry, I have got into the wrong policy. Let me just go back. So it, this is the policy which I have created integrations functions policy. If you scroll down the same policy I have added over here allow dynamic group. This is the integration group is the dynamic group which I have created wherein I have added the matching rule with resource ID is equal to client ID of my integration instance. And I am saying allow this group to manage the functions family in the tenancy. Suppose if you want to drill down further the security then you can allow only to a specific compartment how it is shown over here. I have given to the entire tenancy in your project you can just restrict the permission to a specific compartment. So these are the couple of things you have to do create a dynamic group add the matching rule and then you have to create the policy. Post adding all those things you will be able to make use of this OCI function and you will be able to see the list over here in the drop down. So like this we can make use of OCI function action in integration and invoke OCI function seamlessly without the need of creating a dedicated connections.